gonna go down that route, huh? We're gonna go down the route where uh, it seems that at, uh, we're gonna rewind time a little bit so we can just feel the despair a little bit uh, closer. Hi for those who are watching, the Anger Anime fan here. Also, this is Parsec, a very good game streaming site. Support it if you haven't already. This is Black Clover Chapter 168 from me, the Anger Anime fan, and we see a little map about everyone heading, uh, well, their way. But we're actually rewinding time a little bit before the Black Bull arrived. And very likely um, when all the reincarnations started. And we're switching back to my favorite character, Jami. Why am I getting despairing vibes now? Don't worry, Jami is not an elf. Well, it would actually have been impossible if he was. After all, he's not even from Clover Kingdom. But that's not where the despair starts. He sees the light and wonders what is going on. And then he feels the feeling as many magic knights are eradicated by two very unexpected elves. Turns out that um, Marks, the right-hand man of, uh, the, of Julius, was an elf. The same goes to uh, Owen, the best healer in Clover Kingdom. I said, you have to be kidding me. Why are the best of the best the elves? I mean, I know it makes sense on why the best of the best of the elves, because I technically already answered my own question, but it still feels a little bit difficult to swallow, you know. Because how had they any chance against us? As they do their usual, how we hate humans and we're gonna exterminate everyone, Yami begins to fight them. As he mentions that Mark's memory magic can wipe his memory of what is happening, as well as Owen's magic, while it can be very strong to heal, can also destroy his body. And then they see the corpse of uh, Julius that Yami is actually protecting in an orb of darkness. And here comes the deepest uh, of it all. And is the fact that uh, he, he, they acknowledge that Jam is protecting the corpse, but then says, as long as he's a human, he's definitely a sinner. We have to cut up that matched corpse right in front of you. Now, if that is not madness, I don't know what it is. Julius is already dead, and the elves still want to destroy his corpse. They're defiling the very laws of death in that se section. These elves are so consumed with rage, I'm actually beginning to get a little bit annoyed. Uh, I, know, I know why they are consumed by rage, but uh, how can you even destroy this type of rage without Asta So I'm just saying. Of course, you, they are talking to Yami. And as we all know, Yami is someone who do not take kindly to those who insult people precious to him. And he doesn't even want to hear that from two people who has always admired him. I mean, admired uh, Julius. So Yami gets serious as he combines his magic into three different sections. Dark ho ma magic black hole, dark magic dark cloak, and then Avida slash as he slashes up Owen some water yellow, yellow fish. And then begins to bounce through the movements. Very similar to uh, someone else's, I think, because they're saying this, his movements or something as he then does dark cloak backslash and he doesn't kill them but he knocks them out now that is Yami for you bad ass granted however these two elves were as Yami acknowledges they're not attackers so technically Yami did have an advantage in that but their magic was still very dangerous especially in the hands of elves but the real danger comes in the end as giant red roses grows up in the air, we see a familiar sight, also an elf. And this is not a surprising because um, it was told in a extra manga or page or something, whatever, that she was also an elf. Yes, it's the Sundar Red Foreign Princess, Charlotte, who is also an elf. As she takes uh, her brethren in her vines, she confronts Jami. Who can only say, uh, that's not exactly like you, Forni Sundere princess. So yeah, the the woman that loves uh, Yami is now gonna try to kill him. One wonder if Yami can survive this. Because as I said before, Marks and Owen, while their magic were powerful, they were not attackers. 
unlike Charlotte, who is a freaking Magic Knight captain. How the hell can Yami Yami may be a captain too, but how can he survive against an elf-powered captain? Not to mention, we saw all those lights. This city is full of elves by now. And as um, a lot of people have said before, when Black Bull finally got to the kingdom, the kingdom was completely destroyed. So, I mean, the only real question is, what happened to Yami? Don't tell me Yami is gonna die. I won't accept it if Yami dies. But you know what? I always envisioned the elf Charlotte and Yami to confront each other as soon as I learned that Charlotte was an elf. Because I actually have a question. It's so far it's only confirmed that the only thing that can release the elf's curse is Asta's new sword. But you know what? I actually got a very funny idea. Though I doubt that will happen. What if Yami actually kisses Charlotte Elf? And that will fr frustrate the Charlotte inside of the Elf so much that she will regain control. I know, I know, that does not make sense, but think about it. That will be so funny if that's what happens. Or maybe they're gonna go down that route and yet nothing happens at all. He has to mess with us even further. But you give me your thoughts if you have any. Like and subscribe also. Don't forget to support Parsec and I'll see you later.